Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you a method to replicate animation montage with a count for the network delay. So here now you can see this one is a client. If I press one, you can see the animation montage to equip the sword is being played in all three instances and it replicates from client to client, client to server, server to client in all the ways. So here now this is the server you can see the montage is replicated so this is actually the project that i worked on the uh, action rpg game using uh, game playability system but to follow this montage part, replication part you don't really have to follow this project this action rpg project you just need some animation montage playing mechanism that's all and here we are going to use a rep notify function with the montage data structure that contains the animation montage play rate start section name and trigger time so using this data we will be accounting for the network delay and play the animation montage uh, after replicating accordingly in each instances of the game so yeah that's what we are going to do today and before we get started as always i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects i have done in my channel to the date there are over 1800 videos so for each video you can access the project files once you become a patron member without any limits i'll leave the link in description below feel free to check it out and let's get back to today's tutorial okay so here i have marked this number of players as two and now i'm playing as a client and here i'll choose new editor window and here i got two windows now one is uh, uh, both are clients so if i go here now you can see in both windows i have a sword picked up and if i control this character here now i have collected that sword as well and both characters now do have a sword but however if i press one to equip the sword only in the local instance i can see the animation montage is played the weapon goes into the hand in both instances but the animation is not playing so here if i now i have focused on this one if i press one you can see i pick up the sword but in this window you didn't see the animation that's because animation montages are not uh, automatically replicated and we are going to see a proper way to replicate these animation montages now and so before that i have to mention that i have make sure that you have marked as replicate an instance per actor for this ga collect sword this part is not relevant for the animation montage replication but just for the sake of continuity of this series i have to show this and here and also make sure your sword is marked as replicates and your collectible is also marked as replicates and the character is marked as replicates by default so it should be there okay now this is where i play the animation montage when i equip my weapon so it doesn't matter what event that you are calling this play animation montage so the important thing is whenever you play an animation montage it doesn't replicate by default this is common for any place not just for this place so to address this problem i'm gonna create a new function a new custom event i'll call it play montage replicated and here i'm gonna use 
smash play animation play montage not like uh, wait not this one I'll use this play anim montage and here I'll promote this one as an input parameter and I'll promote this to a variable and any montage name is all right so I'm going to use that like this and once this duration is over I can uh, no that part is not important for now and also I'll promote display rate as a input and also section name okay now we have three elements so it would be better for me if I have only one instruct that holds all these three elements when when I want to do the replication so therefore here let me create a new folder structs and let's create a new structure s montage okay now uh first thing we need is the anim montage it should be in the type of anim montage object reference and the next thing we need is play rate and section name start also I'll add another parameter start not start triggered time uh, and this should be float okay save now here uh, I'll rename this as montage data and change the type to s montage now we will get an error but that's fine see now what I should do is get this set members in a smart touch and I'll make all these pins visible and as the montage, I'll use this. Uh, let me split this. So from the outside also, we can use the same. And start name, play rate. So for this triggered time, this is important when we account for network latency. Get game state and server time get server uh, world time seconds so this return simulated time seconds on server will be synchronized on client and server so i'm gonna use this as the trigger time and compile and after this duration I'll add a retriggerable delay. I'm gonna set. No, I'm gonna clear the montage. So I'm gonna set it to none. The reason to do that is we are going to use a rep notify as the replication method. So when later on, when when we think about network relevancy and if at a later time when my character get re becomes relevant 
in uh, multiplayer state we may not need to play the animation montage again if it the, if the time is passed to play it so that is not some property that i need to play again but, but it is if it is something like a property change regardless of the time i will have to reapply it but for this case i don't have to so that's why i'm clearing this up that's my understanding well, at least okay now i'm gonna um, set the default value to none and the player rate to one here yeah. and instead of this play any montage i'm gonna use play montage replicated and can i copy this no but that's the only montage i have okay right now this is still not complete but let me quickly check if the animation is still working yeah it is working all right now the next step is here i'm going to select this montage data and uh, this is i already set to rep notify so here if i double click on this you will get this function on rep notify on rep montage data so now here we can get the montage data split and i'll check is valid if this is valid if yes i can play animation montage using this play montage well i actually wanted to use this one no not this one we have another montage this one play, play montage yeah this one but this is not accessible inside a function because here we have this starting position we, that's why i wanted to use it okay then maybe i'll add another custom event play montage can I use this? Oh yeah, yeah. We can use this here. Play montage, right? Now we can use the play rate and the montage and the starting section name and the starting position. So I have this trigger time. I can again get game state and get time get server time seconds and then uh, get the difference current time and subtract this and also can we access duration yeah play length if the uh, play length no, I'll claim. In between zero and play length. And use it as the starting position. Right. Now let's see. Okay, uh, what's the setting we have? Play as listen server. Uh, I'll use new editor window. So this is server is client right now we come here now you can see the client from the server if i press one now you see the animation plays and it is replicated from client to server right now let's check the server wait where is the sort okay yeah animation is played for both cases and animation plays for both cases so yeah oh, one more thing let's try for 
three instances so we can check client to client as well all right press one yeah you can see the animation montage being played in all three instances great so that should be enough and yeah that's all i wanted to cover in this episode and as always updated project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye